John. Seven and a half years ago, we met in a gym. I remember we were auditioning for the 2012 season of Onyx. You came to me during this audition and said, hello. I replied, hi. And expect to go our separate ways from there. You were so insistent on talking with me that day. I remember thinking to myself, gosh, this guy just doesn't up. <laughs> I am forever grateful you didn't, Jonathan. And it was this day our lives forever changed. Chelsea Brewer, today I promise that you and I are forever. For the last six years, you've brightened my life ever since I first saw your tryouts in 2011. And now I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to always care for you, physically and mentally. Whatever ails you, <laughs> I will always do my best to make you feel better. As the season went on, our friendship blossomed into something truly special. You helped guide me through troubled times, always made time for me when needed, and always knew how to make me smile. Take a moment, special moments in life, just like this. Chelsea and I have a lot of those. Um, Uno, before class, every day, and uh, gravy magnet. Yeah, we know who that is. You know, just take a moment and enjoy and try to remember all those special moments in life. To this day, you never cease to make me laugh, are always there for me through the good and bad, and are always one step ahead. I say this because you know me better than I know myself. moment it is easy to love you. In times our marriage becomes difficult or time-worn, I promise to love you even more. I vow adventure. Maybe traveling out of the country, teaching color guard at random places, or just going to the grocery store. We can make any trip interesting. So I stand here today in front of you becoming your wife. A wife who will always be there for you. A wife who will hold you in her arms through the good and the bad. I'd always be there for you. Whether there's a laugh to be had, a problem we talked about, or a spider that needs killing, I'll be there. And my final vow is that every day may not start perfect, but together we can make perfection at the end of the night. I love you more and more every day, Jonathan. And I love you more than life itself. You're my love, my little one, my student fiance. <laughs> And now you're finally in love. Thank you so much. I fell in love with you in September of 2011. I've fallen more in love with you today. And I will continue to fall deeper in love with you as we travel through this journey together. Forever, for eternity, and for as long as we both shall live. I love you. I now pronounce you husband and wife. John, give her a kiss. It is my pleasure to introduce to you, Mr. and Mrs. Terrell. Thank you all so much for coming out here and celebrating with both myself and Chelsea. We're so happy to have all of you here. For you all to be here in one place at one time from all across this country um, means so much to me. It's so special. So, so happy for both of y'all. Like seriously, I could not imagine a more like perfect, wonderful couple than y'all. And I am just so blessed to be a part of your journey just like a little bit. And I wish y'all so much happiness. So in 2012, he came out and started marching Onyx. 
and that was when he met Chelsea. So since that first moment when they met, he fell hell at, head over heels for her. He told us that he was gonna marry her, and he actually did. Look at that. Let's cheers to Dozer, the ring bearer. Many years of life for that little man. So many long years of happy marriage, adventures, pranks by Chelsea. And like any good marriage, yelling at John John for doing stupid stuff. My favorite memory of Jonathan is in his first seven years, he lived very close to us in uh, California. And his mom was in the Navy and his mother had duty every other weekend and he needed to be someplace. So she was silly enough to put him with us. So we would pick him up, put him in the truck, turn on the country western music and sing all the way home. It was an hour and a half drive from where we picked him up in Oakland to go up to where we lived. And it was a blast because he'd sit there and laugh like crazy. He thought his grandpa was cool. He just didn't know. Now this girl over here is the sixth Mrs. Terrell into our family. Uh, we are so pleased and so blessed to have her as an addition to our family that uh, we're never gonna let her go and she's gonna have to suffer for the rest of her life. <laughs>